Hey, what is up guys? Wolf Fury here to do a video I should have done a long time ago, like last year, but it was really lazy to do. A review on the Assassin's Creed Syndicate Hidden Blade and the Assassin's Creed Syndicate Cane Sword. And if you guys watched my video last year, or two years ago at this point, for the Assassin's Creed Unity Blade, you would have noticed this is a different view. You gotta see my part of my legs, my waist, and my arms this time. But next to that stupid shit that no one cares about, let's get started. Uh, so the Assassin's Creed Syndicate Hidden Blade. Well, this year it's called the Gauntlet instead, and it is made by UB Workshop this year instead of McFarlane, or distributed by. And this year it seems to be the nicest so far. Then again, it gets better and better every year. This one's much bigger. It adds much more detail when it comes to the design of it and how close it resembles the one in the game. Well, the adequate ones. Uh, the Hidden Blade comes in two pieces, the Leather Gauntlet itself and the Hidden Blade mechanism that includes the Dart Launcher, which doesn't work. Yeah, so far, aesthetically, I love the design. It looks great, and my favorite part is it one slip off, one slip back on, unlike all the other ones where you had to pull all the straps and then put it back on. This one is just slip on and off of that, just maybe because my hand is really small, while my arm is. And another great thing about this hidden blade compared to the other ones, uh, the locking mechanism, phenomenal. I've dropped this thing multiple times from the top of my shelf where I keep it on display, and it the blade has not gone off without me having to unlock it first, which is the mechanism up here, really small. And here's the blade. This isn't a super large blade like the other one, the black flag one, but it does do, at its best, it does do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I'll take out a comparison with the Assassin's Creed Phantom Blade. Back it up. It's much larger and much more, much more detailed, the leather design and like all the metal parts. And compared to the Assassin's Creed Black Flag Blade, much more detailing in the metal, especially like back here. And the leather looks much nicer. And the color correspondence too. Though the Velcro does kind of look kind of bad. If you get past that, how easily you slip it on compared to everything else where, like I said, this one just put it through here. Yeah. Now, with, now, next to the Hidden Blade, this year we also got the Assassin's Creed Cane Sword. Take a look at that design. And in game, this is the adequate cane sword. And if you hit the button back here, it releases the scythe. And this is a really nice cane. Like, it can support weight. If you can't tell right now, I'm actually leaning against the cane sword. Nothing's happening. When you get the cane sword, it comes in two parts. Well, three technically, because you also get to pull this part out. So you get the sword itself, the small, small dagger sword, whatever, which is actually pretty well made. Detailing is not the best, but it is a really hard plastic, and it is kind of sharp. You can hurt someone with this. I found out. And then the uh, the sheath of the blade, I guess where the blade goes in, and then the scythe of the blade. It all goes together really nicely. It has a little nub right there. Just to get it in properly. Then just give it a nice twist. Then it clicks in right there. All you have to do is push this button, pull the sword out, like so. And once it's clicked in properly, it has it locks in really nice. And one thing I found out about the cane sword, I'm not sure if it's 
just mine because I constantly dropped it when I got it. If I just, yeah, if I don't hold the button and just flick it out, the size comes out on its own, which is pretty neat. Might just be my dropping the cane a lot flaw, but yeah. Then you can also, when you get both, I'm not sure how he does it. How does Jacob hold this in the video? He holds it like this, right? No? Yes? I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, this is my longly do Assassin's Creed Cane Sword video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't picked up the game yet, or haven't, or haven't even played Assassin's Creed before, you can check out my channel. I have a playthrough of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and if you want to check the old ones, I have Assassin's Creed Unity as well. Besides that, it's Wolf's Fury. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll do more gaming content, of course. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.